Hi, you guys. Welcome back. This is my first impression of the DIBY Club. First Impression Fridays are where I review an entire pattern collection for the very first time. So I'm laying eyes on this pattern collection for the first time, and I'm going to kind of just give you guys my first impression thoughts of the patterns. Um, we're going to look at fit, fabrication, overall design, and a lot more. So before we get into it, if you guys would make sure that you are subscribed and click the notification bell um, to get notified of when I post new videos. And then, of course, give this video a like um, so that we can make sure that YouTube will show it to more people. So we are going to take a look at the women's patterns. I only always review women's patterns on First Impression Fridays simply because I don't really know how to review the other patterns. I've never made men's wear. I've never made children's wear. So um, this, uh, all I can really find out about the DIBY club as a company is that they have like a little slogan basically that's, you know, do it so clothes better than you can find in the store or something along those lines, um, which I think we all can appreciate. And that is all always a goal of ours. Um, but in terms of like who runs the account, who the designer is, I couldn't really find a lot of information about that. So they do have an extensive like blog um, with tips and teach people how to sew different aspects, different sewing skills, um, ebooks, as well as looks like a jeans tutorial and then some free printables. They also have free sewing patterns. Um, we'll check those out here in the end. And then they sell a few sewing supplies. I think that's what this is. Oh, okay. Well, they don't have any. So just ignore that tab. But um, we're going to be kind of skipping through some of these. We're not going to talk about, you know, fitted masks or anything like that. But we'll go through all of the women's wear that they have. So the very first one that we have is the Madam Tulip back sweatshirt. We've seen a lot of tulip front sweatshirts. Um, Blank Slate Patterns has one. Who else? I think Big Four probably has one. Um, but this is a perfectly comfortable and casual sweatshirt with trendy boutique design elements that will turn heads. It has multiple length and sleeve options, making it perfect for every season. The difficulty rating is a 1.5 out of 5 which I think is also equivalent to a two out of 10. <laughs> so it's interesting that they used um, half points instead of just making the rating out of 10, either way. Uh, what else? Okay, let's take a look at the photos and see what we've got here. So it is that tulip or the, like the crossover um, back. This one has a very, very wide band. Um, which is kind of a nice design detail. I mean, it makes it certainly stand out and show off the fact that it is this tulip design. And maybe a grown-on sleeve. It also has a hood. We've got a short sleeve version. Uh, this is the back of the short sleeve, and this is the front. It has a tunnel pocket, meaning there's a pocket bag that extends all the way through here, so your hand can go all the way through. And then... Also this long sleeve version. Okay, so I think this is the front bodice no matter what. And then you can either add sleeves with a band or just the banded um, your short sleeves, which are grown on. Very open from the side. That's the only thing that kind of makes me nervous. And again, with very, very wide bands. I kind of like the shape that it's giving. But I'd want to see it without anyone, like, tugging on it, without hands in the air. You guys know how I am. Like, just stand there for, like, get the cute pictures. But just stand there for at least one photo just to show me what it's like without a pose. You know, because not all of us are standing around Target with our hand behind our head like this. <laughs> That's pretty close. Yeah, it still does have kind of like a, you know, like a boxier kind of fit. Very high on the neckline, though, which for some people, I know you guys would be like, ah, I feel like I'm choking. All right, this is, what is this, fabric requirements? So, yeah, kind of a fabric hog, this one. Here are your women's misses sizes. I should have gotten my reading glasses for this. These numbers are very small, especially this late at night. But nonetheless, we'll do our best. Our full bust goes from 31 to 46, and then they have a separate size range for pluses. So 
that size range goes from 41 and a half to 63. Now you're going to notice sizes 14 through 20 kind of overlap with this 14 through 20, but not exactly. And that's, I think from what I understand about pattern drafting, again, I'm not a designer, but from what no. I understand, the plus size should have a separate block. And because it has a separate block, the number sizes, 14, 16, 18, should technically have different fits than the misses. So that is a very, very promising sign. Whenever you see uh, pattern companies who have just one size range, so it's like they have the misses, but it's like double zero to 20 or whatever it is, or I guess it would have to go beyond that. So double zero to 25, right. it makes you wonder you know, when you have the size, like one size category misses, and then you have your whole size range within that category, how many times did they start with a foundational block and then grade up and down from there? Um, with this, I presume that they have four. I think within the misses category, they probably have two bases that they've graded up and down from, and then in the plus, they have the same. So that just guarantees that you are going to get a fit that is intended for that size so if you're a plus size woman like you're not getting a block that was drafted for a missus just graded out to a larger size that's definitely not not what is happening here so all that to say very 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 promising i love to see that if you hear the girls in the background i am so sorry they just had dinner and are very playful um, but if I stopped every single time they made noise, I would never get this done. So <laughs> that's just the joy of having two puppies under a year old. Um, okay. So that, uh, it looks like this was drafted for someone who's five foot five and sleeve length is here and M seam is here. So this is drafted for someone who is five foot five. The sleeve length is here, as is the inseam. So all very promising things um, from this looking at this size chart. Um, the full hip goes from 34 up to 66 and a half. So by far one of the most inclusive um, companies that I have ever reviewed for First Impression Friday. So that's just really, really awesome to see. Okay, so we get a print at home PDF for both categories, uh, A4 and AO copy shop formats, no trim pages, you can isolate layers, sewing instruction booklet, and then your pattern options, we went over those, and suitable for experienced beginner and beyond. And then it just says knit fabrics. It doesn't really go into like specifically what kind of fabrics they call for, um, you know, it is a sweatshirt, so you presume, you know, sweatshirting, like sweatshirt fleece or French terry or something like that, but it might have been nice to have just a little bit more direction on that. And before you say, oh, I bet it's an instruction booklet, like I like to have that before I buy the pattern so that I know, especially as a beginner, do I have something in my stash already? Do I need to go shopping for this? That helps me determine whether or not I'm going to purchase it or not. <laughs> <laughs> and biscuit agrees okay next up we have the sandy lounge pants the sandy women's lounge pants are the perfect self-care staple treat yourself like a queen with the most comfortable and best fitting pair of sweatpants you've ever owned that is a bold statement make them with thick fleece for cold winter evenings make them with a breathable athletic knit for yoga practice no matter how you practice self-love, you'll enjoy it more in a pair of sandy lounge pants. All right. Let's see what we've got here. So we've got slash pockets. Um, you can see the pocket bags through them, which I don't know if that's fabric choice or the design. Not my favorite look. Um, let's see what else we can tell. A little bit long on her. I, can, I of course, have no idea how tall she is. But it looks to be a little bit long in the length. I want to see the waistband. Oh, here we go. Here we go. So we've got a knit waistband. We've got or a fold over yoga waistband. We've also got an elastic waist. Okay, so three different waistbands. You have the option for back pockets. You have a tapered elastic ankle. 
a tapered cuff ankle, or a wide leg. So that really does kind of cover the gamut, right, of, of lounge pant options. I mean, I can't think of any other lounge pants that you couldn't make out of combining these different options. You also have the slash pocket that I mentioned that's here and here, but you also have one without it. So you could leave those out totally if you wanted. And then the waist, um, the elastic waist does have a drawstring, which I like because I have kind of like a fluctuating waist. So it's nice to be able to pull it in every now and again. Okay. So that looks to be like what she made here. Um, that's wide elastic. I want to say probably two inch elastic, maybe hands in the pockets. So it's really hard to tell, you know, what's going on in the fit there. We've talked about hands in the pockets before. Um, hers are a pretty decent length. I mean, they're definitely still dragging on that muddy road and they're white and that makes me very sad and nervous for her but um and then also I want to know is this the rise is it supposed to sit below the waist is that the intention with her I can't really tell because she has her shirt covering it but I still would like to we these are the only oh here we go here we go hold on go back go back go back so hers are sitting yeah a little bit below the waist that's where the waistband sits so that's okay. Not the best for me. Um, I like to have a bit of a high rise because I do have a little bit of like a protrusion, a lower belly protrusion. Um, but you can always increase the rise. That's no big deal. As long as it's consistent from one model to the next, that's all I really look for um, whenever I'm reviewing patterns like this. And then the same size chart. Okay, I mean, I can't, I don't know if I can say that they are for sure going to be the most comfortable and best fitting pair I've ever owned, but I can certainly say design wise, it might be the only ones you'd ever need to own as long as they fit you properly. Because um, it does have really all the options I can think of. All right, this is the Junko zip up jacket. Perfect piece to add for cool summer nights or chill spring mornings. This fashionable and versatile features a dolman sleeve, funnel neck, and hooded options. A variety of pocket options as well. It is really cute. Like a little zip-up hoodie. I like the little zip uh, pockets. And grown-on sleeve or a dolman sleeve like she called it. And you can add on just like the first um, sweatshirt that we saw. And then you've got your full hood and funnel neck option. Kangaroo pocket, single fold hem, I guess is what that means. Oh, there's a little key pocket. That's cute. Um, zipper pockets and a drawstring are all the options that you have. She kept hers really plain, and I actually kind of really like that. The sleeve is really long, you can see. Um, she probably could have reduced it by the however much this rib knit is. It looks to me like there is like an interesting detail within this funnel neck too, where it's finished with like some kind of binding or something. That's a really nice detail. And of course I love her trim that she chose. Here is another option where it's faced and doesn't have that little trim detail. Also interesting. And then she put the little zipper in for the keys. There's the back. There's the back. Yeah, a lot of really cute pictures here with of different versions, which is nice. I wish someone would put the hood up, but you know, beggars can't be choosers, I guess. Junko jacket. Cute for 14 bucks. All right, now we have <laughs> it's free okay you guys this is the billy wearable blanket i'm not going to review this because there's not much to review about a big sack but you need to be making these for the holidays it's totally free how cute would that be with like some of the fleece that's on sale at joanne go check this out okay this is the heady pants wide leg women's pants pays tribute to the fabulous fabulous fit and fashion of the 70s which is so 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 in right now um, this pattern is made with supportive bottom weight woven fabrics to keep you feeling fabulous about your figure all day long. The wide leg keeps movement to a maximum for this ultimate comfort jean pant. Okay. Button front also, as you can see. Let's get a look at 
the fit on some of these. I mean, on her, I'm a little bit like this is maybe a little bit tight, but not as bad as I've seen. Um, yes, there is some pulling, but that kind of is to be expected. This here is caused because her body has curves that is not allocated for in the like waist, uh, the upper seam of the pant itself. You know, jeans are hard, you guys. Jeans are really, really, really hard. Um, you know, her side seam is not straight because she's got a little bit of a booty. Basically, what's happening here, just to really quickly go over it, is this here is too high for her waist. Um, because she's got so many curves, she needs to reduce this a little bit, and all of those would go away. And then through here, she needs to reduce her crotch curve in the center front and give herself a little smidge more space through the hip, probably just in the back and not in the front. And then she needs to balance her side seams. But listen, 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 I get it. I know the struggle with pants. Like I can identify what is wrong with a pair of pants all day long, backwards and forwards, but and I think maybe that's why I have such a hard time making pants is because every time I make a muslin or I go to make one, I know, oh, this is not right or that is not right. Um, it's very, very difficult. And no one else is going to notice those issues about her pants other than me and now you guys. So sorry about that. <laughs> but this, these are the line drawings. Super cute. I do love the super deep waistbands that um, so far we've seen with DIBY. Um, I like a big meaty waistband that does help with curvy figures. And then we have the capri cuffed, the capri raw, and the ankle length. Of course, you can extend those to be however long you want. And slant pockets, full button zip. You also have a zipper fly. Um, all right, that's all I see there. So these look really good. Um, same issue here through the pocketing. So I wonder if it's drafted to have a curved waistband when... It needs to just be a straight waistband. We've talked about that a little bit on the channel here before. Love this top, by the way. Um, so that might be something to look out for. Other than that, though, I mean, she does have a little bit of fullness through here. Maybe reduce some of this length, but pretty good. I'd like to see the back. Sorry, I'm just kind of taking it all in. Yeah, she got really, really close with hers. Really, really close. Okay, here's the back. So we do have a back yoke. Um, and again, a lot of extra pooling here. So again, it's got to be that waistband, right? Yeah, you can see here, lots and lots of extra pooling. So I think, I think the waistband is curved when it doesn't need to be. Um, but this yoke looks beautiful on her. The shape through here, all of this is really, really good. Even the curve looks pretty decent. So not the best that I've seen in terms of like jumping off points. Like I do think that there's a little bit of work to be done on these, but the design is really cute. All right. Those are the heady pants. Now we have the Grace Cardigan. So button down cardigan is the most sophisticated knit cardigan you've been looking for. Boutique style cardi with this versatile and flattering pattern. I'm a little disappointed this is $14. I mean, we got, what was that? Three, six different sweat pant options for $12. And this little basic cardigan is more than that. So that's a little bit of a bummer. But let's take a look at what we're working with here. So we just have some sleeve options and length options. Pockets or no pockets. Uh, really pretty in like a lightweight knit, right? All those buttons though, and more importantly, all those button holes. Oh my goodness. Can we not just leave it open front with no buttons? <laughs> um, bit of a like height difference here a um, lot lower in the front than it is in the back on her let's see hard to tell on other people does it is it supposed to have a um, gathered um, sleeve head like that yes 
So that's a cute little detail. Oh, but hers doesn't. So maybe it's an option. Gosh, all those buttonholes. I don't know about that. It also seems to be a little bit long through the shoulder, too. I've seen that on three people so far. And if you're doing, well, it's like give or take. If you're doing this, this little ruffle detail, this needs to be wider, but not as wide as it is on the other folks. Like this is too far off the shoulder. So there's got to be some balance there. Also, a center back seam on a cardigan. I don't know about that. Can we not just put this on the fold? All right, that's it. That's the beginning. All right, basic little cardigan. This is the Harriet Knot Tee. Knot Tees are a fashion favorite. Now you can make one to fit you perfectly. Semi-relaxed top is comfortable, classic with beautiful finishes. Many options. All right, let's check them all out. So looks like we've got a crop top with a center front tie, grown on like bell sleeve and a V-neck. So plunge V-neck, standard V-neck, breast pocket or not, full length or um, cropped. And then you've got elbow sleeves and short sleeves. So it's either really cropped <laughs> or really long. It's like waist length or low hip length. I actually prefer something in the middle for my t-shirts. So I'd have to make an adjustment no matter what. And I actually don't think the sleeve is supposed to be flared. I think it's supposed to be fitted like this. See how hers is like pulling away from her body? I think it's supposed to be a little bit more fitted. I mean, I like it like that though, especially in that drapey knit. Okay, that's the Harriet Knot tee. Um... All right, now we have the Stevie jumpsuit. Practical and comfortable wardrobe option. Most of us don't fit in store-bought jumpsuits. That's true. Um, everything you need to make a jumpsuit that fits you perfectly. No more wedgie or camel toe. You're going to look trendy and comfortable all day long. Okay. It is really nice. I like this side, this front tie detail. Okay, so... We have short sleeve, elbow sleeve. All of them have the same neckline. And then you can do the waist tie, slant pockets, and then different three different leg or four different leg lengths. And I think everybody has elastic in the waist no matter what. That's how you get in and out of it. Okay, so it is kind of like a t-shirt jumpsuit which I don't doubt is beyond comfortable. Look how cute that one is. Tapered leg with the sash. Hands in pockets, though. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to point it out every single time, but it just makes me wonder what is really happening. Okay, so here we have some fit issues for sure. Um, just too much fabric through here. That's all. Um, it's not necessarily a camel toe. It's just a lot of fabric relegated to her inner thigh. Um, so that's what's causing all of that going on. Here's the back. Very long bodice. So maybe you like that pooling look. I don't really love it myself, but there is a lot of pooling with the fabric there. And again, something with the inner thigh here. When I see it on more than one person, that's when I'm starting to think that it's not the sewist, that it might be the pattern. Um, hers look really good. Side seams look great. Not as blousey on her. This one's just so super cute. I do feel like there is that same issue going on through here. Can you see those wrinkles through there? So I don't know what that would be other than the crotch curve depth is too long it 
if anything, it's got to be just beyond super comfortable to hang out in at home. And in that case, who really cares what the crotch curve depth looks like? <laughs> All right. Emmeline gathered dress. Um, darts give your bodice shaping you didn't even know existed optional seam pockets make it a practical dress dress for all your daily needs there yeah. ooh, there is um something about just a comfortable casual dress like i totally get that we have and i'm sure these are all knits but well with the darts i don't know but we have the waist seam darts gathered waistband elbow sleeve sleeveless or long sleeve knee length maxi or mini and then pocket or no pocket oh and we also have a scoop neck or a v-neck it's got to be knit right really really pretty fit and flare can't go wrong look like a million bucks dress it up dress it down i mean the possibilities are really endless. What I'm looking for in this is that the waist seam is hitting everybody at their waist. So far, so good. The shoulder looks really good. Um, the lengths look really good, like not hitting people in weird spots. She might be a little bit short-waisted, so it's hanging a little long on her, but super, super pretty. I love her blue lipstick. Okay. That's the Emmeline Gather dress. Let me make sure that it's for knits. Knit fabrics, yeah. Okay. So darts and a knit are a little bit odd, but nonetheless, they're there. Um, we're going to skip over accessories like swimsuits. Like I said before, we're not doing face masks, hats, bags, none of that in First Impression Friday. So be sure to come check this out if you're interested in a swimsuit. We have the Cecilia sweater, which is the crossover front. So we were talking about that the very first pattern. Um, this one is just what you need, trendy and comfortable. Okay. So you have that crossover element, more of a tunic length in the back, which is actually really nice for leggings. We have an option for a thumb hole cuff, a uh, long sleeve with like a little band or three quarter sleeves. And then everything else about it is the same. So the only thing that's different is the sleeve. And I'm pretty sure everything is the same for this part of the sleeve too, because it's grown on. So it's only this bottom half that is different on the three options. Yeah, I mean, you could really make this out of lightweight knits, chunky knits, and everything in between. Yeah, prints, solid, ribbed, not. Um, if you've got a fabric in your stash that is stretchy, this would work. I do like how it's a little bit slouchy through the bodice, you know, like I like how it's not trying to be fitted or anything else. And again, I do like the length in the back for sure. Cute. I like this Cecilia sweater a lot for 12 bucks. Exactly. I mean, I know 12 and 14 aren't that much different, but still. And I think that little pop-up said you can get 15% off your first pattern with them too. So I think I had to wait like 30 seconds for that to pop up. Um, the Melissa sweatshirt is the perfect women's sweatshirt sewing pattern. Feels like your favorite college sweatshirt without the stains. Gross. And not only will you feel incredibly comfortable in this sweatshirt, but you'll also look on trend with several contemporary options like the cropped length and elastic hems. Okay. Let's take a look. So we've got a hooded option with a kangaroo pocket. We've got elastic hems, crop top, uh, crew neck, hooded. This is the back. Um, and then everybody has the same sleeve except for whether you want to band it or elastic. Now, I'm on TikTok now and all I'm seeing are the kids these days Buying sweatshirts at Goodwill, chopping off the bottoms, adding elastic, and calling it a trend. So that's what's happening here. The sweatshirt, crop top, elastic thing 
is here. It's back. Wasn't that like an 80s aerobics thing? Um, it's all happening. So ask your children or grandchildren or neighbors or otherwise about that, and they will tell you, yes, those are super cute. But for the rest of us, um, this is probably a more practical option. I don't love a banded anything on a top. Um, I don't even know if I'm going to like the elastic hem, to be honest with you. Because I'm such a pair, it just, it never looks right. Thank you for putting the hood on, though. Seeing the shape of the hood, I think, is really important when I'm trying to decide whether to buy a hooded pattern or not. Because sometimes these hood openings can be so big or so small. And you're just like, all you can see is like your little nose. Yeah, the elastic one's a little bit better. Still very long, so I would be adjusting the length um, for me personally. And I think that's Honey. Honey agrees. So yeah, sort of a basic hooded sweatshirt. It is lined. The hood is lined. I don't think anything else is, though. Okay, anything but basic women's tee. We'll take a look at this really quickly. It is free. And I think that I've seen a lot of people make this t-shirt. I think I remember the DIBY club being mentioned a lot when um, talking about t-shirts and like good basic tees. And I think this one always rates really high. I mean, certainly the inclusivity um, all the sizes and then your options with, you know, three different necklines, no, four different necklines, four different sleeves. I mean, there's a lot of options there. All right, this is the Rosa dress. Another tulip. This one is the tulip skirt. Also gathered. Uh, creating a contoured waist line and center back seam shows off everyone's assets. Oof. Okay. I don't know if I want my assets to be shown off. We have shirt length, so three, four sleeve lengths, three dress lengths, and all the necklines are the same. It is really pretty, isn't it? That's a really pretty design for the skirt. I wish this showed a little bit more. It feels a little bit all covered up as the long dress. Yeah, I don't know about center back seams and knits. Do y'all have particular thoughts about that? Oh, the top is super cute. Super, super cute. Oh, and it goes really long in the back. So... In my opinion, I could probably shorten that two or three inches just so this part barely covers the bum. That's sort of where I like it best. But this is so nice. Really pretty. Really pretty in these like sort of lighter weight, not tissue weight, but like lighter weight knits. The drape is so nice. Nice. Rosa. Tulip dress and top. Love it. All right, now we have the Malala sweater. Um, boutique style, keep heads turning. Um, looking good, but the swingy fit will keep you comfortable all day. All right, I like a swingy fit. This one has this interesting collar detail. Let's get to the line drawings. So you have this little wraparound button. It's kind of like a little bit of a vintage-y kind of vibe, don't you think? Um, three sleeve links and then four, um, like bodice links and a great use of your super, super big buttons in your stash. Cause you only need two that match and they're really big. So they stand out and they can be really, really beautiful. Not getting so much of a swing in the top, at least not in her version. That is really nice. The folds in it really pretty. Yeah, a little bit swingier in the dress and quite short. Um, I would probably have to lengthen that by an inch or so. But see, the moment you raise your hand to get that waiter's attention, all of a sudden, showing a lot of thigh. Yeah, over leggings, super cute. Love that length for leggings. 
striped is really nice. Shows off that collar really good. Yeah, this one's really cute. A little bit of a, a basic with a twist, which is my personal style. We've got the anything but basic women's leggings. Go check those out. I feel, why do I feel like I've seen these before? Did I feature them and sew together one month when we did the leggings? I might have. Um, but they are free. Free 99. So go check that out. Then look how cute the May poncho sweater is. Yeah, really great. Okay, warm and cozy. All your favorite fall options, including an option to add a belt. Okay. One out of five difficulty. Yeah, I love a cowl neck so much. This one also looks to have like a bit of draping through the sides. Yes, super pretty. This will, if you find a fabric, like a really luxurious sweater knit, this will look like it costs you hundreds of dollars. The fabric will give it away though. The fabric will give it away. If it's a cheap fabric, you will be able, not you'll be able to tell, but comparing it to like a luxurious sweater knit, um, the luxurious one would definitely stand out for sure, especially with the cowl and this drape and all of that. Oh, love it so much. So pretty. So comfortable, right? Don't you just want to throw that on with like leggings and just call it a day? <laughs> There it is with the belt. I don't love a belted look, um, but it also looks like she used like a jersey knit. That's also not my favorite. I prefer this with a sweater knit. Hers also looks to be like less of a sleeve than the first woman's. Like this one has like an actual sleeve. I'll have to go back to those line drawings here in a second, but that's the crew neck option. She really likes, the designers really like a grown-on sleeve with like a band. That is their thing, which it's super easy to sew. But you can, can you see how this rib knit, especially if you found a rib knit that had like a little bit of rayon in it for that lustrous, oh, I don't know, really, really nice drape. So, I don't understand how the sleeves are happening, but... Definitely, there's a sleeve action and a non. Oh, open side, open side, or closed. Okay, 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 that makes more sense. Well, that's even more versatile. Because the open side ones you could make out of some really interesting fabrics. That could be a lot of fun. All of these seem also very fall-like. I don't know if that's just random or if they've organized their site that way to put all the current like styles up top <laughs> anyways um okay we have a button-up skirt contoured skirt of your dreams six contouring construction seams to give every woman a flattering figure no matter what shape or size i like this idea i've always wanted like a pencil skirt but i can never get them to fit right i don't know how flattering they are so maybe this is the one for me but it does have all the panels, as you can see. So you're able to, like, for example, if you have a bigger bum, you can take a smaller seam allowance through these, and that will allocate more room for your bum. Same thing with hips. You can just pinch and tuck and let out whenever you need. Nice. Four different lengths. Pockets are none. And they all have the same waistband with carriers. Maxi. Very chic. I like how it's open from the knee down, even though it's a long skirt. That one's very nice. Oh, keep your clothes on. Something again with the waistband here. It's doing the exact same thing. I'd be very interested to see the shape of the waistband that she's using or that they are using. Tempting, very tempting to try this with all those panels. Another bathing suit, a onesie. I'd half hope the onesie would be free, but it's not. We'll go through it quickly here just to see what we're dealing with. Uh, 
Is that a short? I don't know what's happening. Oh, that's the back. Oh, wait. There's like a little bum panel for the back. If that's the case, I'm going to have to abort. I'm going to have to move on from this real quick. Oh my God, it has feet and everything. I don't know. I don't know if I could do it. What do you, th oh, there is a butt panel. Why, 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 why? Gotta go, gotta go. That's just freaking me out. <laughs> okay, hooded infinity scarf we're gonna skip, but you guys go check it out. That also make a wonderful gift for the holidays. Um, the Althea Racerback Tank. Again, it has like the tulip shaping to it. Um, most comfortable yet flattering tank top you've ever sewn. She's all about these absolute statements, right? These like extreme, most flattering, most favorite, most comfortable, most this, that, or the other. Bold, bold statements. Uh, the tulip back option is perfect for ladies looking for a little flair, and the solid back is great for those looking for a more figure-forming silhouette. Okay, a hooded tank top. Do we see those a lot? And do, do you guys own any of these? Have you ever made one? I don't get it. You need the hood for warmth, but it's a tank top, so it's hot out. I'm confused. Do you guys own these or wear these? Oh, good. The hood is an option. Okay, so you can either do a scoop neck or a crew neck, um, banded hem, curved hem, or tulip back, and then you can put on a kangaroo pocket or not, or add the um, the hood. I don't get the hood. Everyone made the hood. I don't get it. Please explain to me in the comments. I do love how this is truly a racer back. It's not pretending or just called that. Like it's genuinely a racer back. I really, really like that. It's nice. How much was this? Is it like a workout thing to have a hood? So many hooded options. Oh, she did that little serger trick. I can't remember what it's called. Oh, man. I did it on my leggings earlier this year. Super easy to do. Lots of pictures on this one. There's the tulip back. I do like that. What? Oh, 13 bucks. Yeah, I don't know about 13 bucks for a tank top pattern. But yeah, y'all let me know about that hood for sure. Okay, Sojourner bias dress. Y'all know I love a bias cut dress. Perfect semi-formal to formal woven dress. Flutter sleeves, ruched skirt, plunge or scoop necklines, making it fit for a princess, plus with the additional options of a side zipper. Love a side zip. Um... Or, and inseam pockets. You can make this dress to suit your every fit and need. All right, let's check it out. So we've got an elastic waist. For whatever reason, hers is very curved. You can even see it here. Oh, probably because of her fuller bust. So it's being pulled up because of her bust. So she just needs to lengthen this a little bit. The flutter sleeve is super pretty. Um, if she lengthened her bodice, this would be a little bit longer. And then we got to check out what's going on with the hem here in the line drawings. Yeah, so there is a high-low hem. There's also a straight front hem. Oh, this is it from the side. Side zipper, inseam pockets, plunge v-neck. Or a scoop neck. So everybody's is longer in the back than the front. And it's a matter of it being straight or scooped upward. But hers is scooped downward. Now I'm confused. Okay, yeah, I think everything is a high-low. Gosh, that sleeve is pretty. Scoop neck, elastic waist. Her elastic is coming up a little bit too, and she does not have a full bust. It didn't look like that in the line drawing, right? Let me go back. Yep, nope, straight, straight across. So something going on there. Let's see if it's in the shoulder. I don't even see the shoulder seam. I think it's here. So that is a little bit pulled to the back. Hmm. Pretty, pretty. Look at that beautiful little, like, almost like a lettuce hem.
Yeah, everybody's is being pulled up. I don't get that. Hmm. Oh, look at her fun nails. Yeah, and then her bodice is too long in the back. Huh. Yeah, definitely. I mean, again, it goes back to the same thing with the pants. Like, they're wearing this out to dinner or wherever they're going, and everyone is saying, your dress is so perfect. It's so pretty. I can't believe you made that. No one notices these little details that I seem to notice. <laughs> um, and honestly, like if I saw them in real life and they were wearing this, I probably wouldn't notice that either. It's just because I'm put on my critical hat and I start to notice little things like this. Um, but it is odd to me that it is pulling up on everyone. It's an easy fix. You just need to tissue fit it and make sure that it's, you know, when it comes over your chest that it's, you know, parallel to the floor. It's hard to say why it's doing that though without actually looking at the pattern itself. But it is really pretty, cute little blousey type dress. Super cute, love that sleeve. All right, and then we've got one more page. We've got a Weekender bag, a Flare Jeans hack, the Helen drawstring dress. Okay, this looks comfortable. Comfort and fashion, trendy style, available for every shape and size with custom fit adjustment tutorials provided with your pattern. Okay. So, oh, it's a bit of a crossover with bands, elastic waist with a drawstring, slant pockets, and slits. I mean, come on, super comfortable. You also have your solid front option, your racer back option, mid thigh knee length, or I'm guessing this is a maxi length, and then optional pockets. I only wish there was a romper option. That would be what just really sealed the deal for me on this. Oh, this one has a little bit of a sleeve on it too. Yeah, I mean, this is that throw on and go dress. We only have these two versions. That's disappointing. I do like the racer back. That's cute. Not something we see a lot. Especially like a good true racer back, you know? All right. Cute. I really like that one. Dang, 14 bucks though. Uh, maternity jeans hack. Claire. And we're going to skip that, obviously. I don't know anything about maternity pants, but bless it be all y'all that are wearing, that you have to wear jeans while you're pregnant. I just... Just cannot imagine. I'd probably just go naked. <laughs> I can't imagine wearing any clothes being that pregnant. All right, this is the Claiborne Women's Boho Ruffle Top. I like the idea of a ruffle anything. Um, make you feel both stylish and comfortable. I, you know what? These little descriptions are very, very, very short. Um, I mean, I might like a little bit more information, but I would much prefer a super short description than some of the ones we see that go on and on and on with all these adjectives and where you're going to wear it and who you're going to look like and, you know, all this kind of stuff. I'm here for like the Cliff's Notes version. <laughs> all right. So ruffle woven blouse woven. This is one of the few woven patterns we've actually seen. So um, interested to see about fit because, you know, drafting for wovens and knits is a little bit different, but we have this little like scoop neckline. Is that a set in sleeve? Yes. Then you have your waist seam, which she did beautifully with this, um, border print. The ruffle, the like ruffle skirt, whatever you want to call it, peplum thing is a little bit wavy. Like if you see it does come up here, and then it comes down in the back. I haven't seen a line drawing yet, so I'm going to reserve my thoughts on that. But we could have the same issue that we have with that other woven dress. This also does look like the shoulder seam is a little far back on her. Again, it's kind of going up a little bit, but you also have this adorable, that is such a beautiful, cute use of eyelet trim. Adorable. Yeah, scooping in the back, again with some trim, trim here. This one's a little hard to see with the print, but we have like a ruffle here, and then our same little peplum ruffle thing happening there. 
cute, nice length in the back. I love all the trims. Yeah, hers is definitely curved. I gotta imagine that much of a curve has got to be a design detail, like on purpose. Hey, I have that fabric. I was using it for a lining for a jacket. It's very lightweight from the like silky, it's like a polyester silky thing from Joanne. Pretty as a dress. Oh, look what she did with her little laser cutout, whatever this is. A little bit of a smaller um, arm ruffle. Where are our line drawings? We don't get any line drawings for this one. That's kind of a bummer. So I can't really speak to what it's supposed to be like because there's no line drawings to give me like that intention. But it is cute. I feel like we kind of, you maybe seen it before, but that's all right. Um, maternity pack pack for this top. Um, pocket stitching, which honestly you can apply to any pockets and it's free. Um, bespoke jean bundle. So it looks like four different jeans patterns. Here we have the Walker shorts. These are cute stretch denim. The fit on these looks pretty good. Although it does seem really short in the rise. Oof. If you, you've never owned, see, here we go again with like the absolutes. You've never owned a more comfortable pair of shorts. A walker shorts are the perfect woman's denim short made with your unique shape in mind. Enjoy custom fit jean short that flatter every curve. This is interesting. You don't see a lot of just shorts patterns, like just for jean shorts. You know, you see like your jeans and then they're like, and then you just chop them off here and now you have shorts. So to have a shorts pattern that's drafted just to be shorts is very interesting but dang that rise is so low so low i mean i'd probably be adding six inches to that rise for it to be comfortable for me that wouldn't even dream of covering like half of my rise in my bum So I don't know how many, like, how detailed the, the instructions are in terms of making adjustments. We have that same little fold here in the pockets again, probably from the curved waistband. Um, I don't know how detailed it is in terms of getting, like, like making those rise adjustments. But look at that. I would never, ever, that would look horrible on me. Her belly button is up here. So I would want to wear the jeans up here. <laughs> That's where I would want my waistband, above my belly button, keeping everything nice and tucked in and cozy. <laughs> oh, gosh. So, yeah, I don't know if she has, like, if you want high rise, do this or that, you know. I mean, she's little. She is a very, you know, petite, skinny person. And even on her, like, that is not a flattering rise on most people. But again, no line drawings, so I don't assume there's an option. But I do hope that she would go back, and now that that low rise is not really that in anymore, if she would adjust it. But we have the Bravado bootleg, another pair of jeans that she has. When it's like fitted through the thigh and then kind of slightly, slightly straightens out. Great fit through the side seam here. But these look really low too. Yes, super low. Cute though. They do fit her really well. That is the only version we get to see. So that is that jean. Then we have the Dauphine skinnies. I'm a little bit averse to calling skinny jeans skinny, but... There we are with that baby rise again. And that zipper is going straight into her crotch. Huh. Yeah, I don't know about that. I would have to make so many adjustments to these. Like, so many. 
it's a bit longer of a rise, but like in the wrong places, I think. I mean, they look really good on her. Hands in pockets. Yeah, it is a bit higher of a rise, which is great, but like, why is this so long? And then this super, super short rise, which, no thank you. So this one must have rise options, because hers was really low. This one's a bit higher. Yeah, this doesn't make me any more excited about making jeans. <laughs> and then we have Augusta Motos. This is a pant and a capri with these moto details. Pink moto pants. Now that is a juxtaposition, right? Yeah, uh, this is, there's a lot happening. Those look cute though. When you get the fit good, they look good. But there's just so many ways that they can go wrong. Um, yeah, hers are almost like a jegging. This has got to be sewn down. Interesting. Yeah, this, these, this whole little section on pants is super, super interesting to see. Um, oh, man, I would like... I would like to try these and increase the rise because that genuinely the rise was the only, well, in the waistband, but we've already assessed that there's probably something going on with the waistband there. But outside of that, everything else about this, this jean short was really, really, really nice. I like that there were different length options. Um, these are like how I like my jeans to fit, like, you know, with a little bit closer on the thigh. Um, so if I could just increase the rise, which sounds easier maybe than it really is, but I'd be interested to try those for sure. We have a free DIY makeup brush case. Great for the holidays. Nora sweater. Okay, back to sweaters again. It's kind of all over the place. I don't really know how these are organized. Um, this one is, are we going to get line drawings? Okay, good. Back to line drawings, which I really like to see. All right, we have the drawstring funnel. We have a scoop neck. Then we have long sleeves, three-quarter sleeves, and sleeves with elbow patches. Super cute detail. You have your banded hem or just your split hem. I think those are the options. Cute little split hem. A little bit long. A little bit long. Funnel neck is cute. You can easily lengthen this to a dress. The center back seam again. I genuinely don't get that. There it is with the band. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, she did. Look at that stripe matching. Props to you, girlfriend. Saint, you too. I would have just cut it on the fold, but you guys go with your with your stripe matching. Yeah, three really good options with the necklines. What were the sleeve options again? Oh, I didn't see any elbow patches, which would have been really cute. All right. So that's the Nora. Then we have the Adrian open side slouchy sweater designed to be incredibly comfortable, stylish, and quick to sew. I will say... I've never seen a pattern company with this many sweater knit suitable patterns. Um, I have quite a few sweater knits in my stash. I think I like sweater knits, but then I never really find patterns to go with them. And she has a lot to choose from. So that is something that I will remember for sure. All right. So we have... It looks like a few different neck lines. So we have one with this little neck band. We have this funnel one and then one that looks maybe like it's just folded under. And then we have three sleeves, long, three quarter and short. And then 
what is this telling me? Facing. This one has a button over here. We've got a band, but also not a band. Wow, Burnout Velvet. That sure is fancy. That's like way more of a like, oh, it doesn't get much bigger, of a like, like thick sweater knit. Whereas this is almost like, oh no. That other one was almost like very, very lightweight, almost like a jerk, like not like a sweater knit at all, like a tissue knit. Maybe it is a little bit thicker. I do really like this detail, especially in a stripe. Yeah, this one's really cute. I like this. I love that it comes up on the side. It's super flattering, dead on. We don't have a great example of that photo, but because this kind of comes up and shows part of your like high hip, it kind of gives the illusion, like draws the eye up and, you know, gives the illusion of smaller hips. <laughs> Cute. I like this one a lot. I do. Oh, and then you can do contrast bands too. That's fun detail. Center back seam. I have that fabric. I thought you had that. That was from Joanne years ago. I made a toaster sweater out of it. This here where it's like puckering and folding like weird is just an issue with the serger um with her differential feed so if she would have um lengthened that a little bit um that would have laid a lot flatter but this is it with the little funnel too which is cute a lot of cute options with this one i like this one a lot okay that one's good now we have the julianne button up uh, designed to be a wildly versatile wardrobe pattern, can take you from a breezy summer dress all the way to a jacket. Interesting. This fabric is also from Joanne. I'm recognizing all these older Joanne fabrics. Okay, so this is your regular button-up. Not much to it, I don't think. Wait. Oh, it just got stuck. Okay, decent fit, yeah. Especially considering, are there even any darts? Then we've got the elastic waisted dress with the shirt tail hem. Oh, a drawstring. I'm sorry. Very small buttons, but lots of them. There really is not a dart in sight. And is this? No, not a grown on sleeve. Okay. That's kind of impressive with no dart. I think um, it's just meant to be a little bit blousey, I guess. Hers, look at this curve that that's taking. Again, the shoulder seam is a little bit toward the back. I think that that might be what is happening. As far as I can tell is that this is too long. It needs to be, you know, adjusted so that this sits a little more forward and then all of this would fall down. I think there's, it is a back yoke. Um, and also this little collar, more like a banded collar. Half blacket on this one. Yep, she made hers a little more slouchy. Oh, but wait. Is that a hood with a drawstring? Oh my gosh. <laughs> they will put a hood on anything. I have literally never seen a button down with a hood. Have you? I don't hate it. Like, I can get behind the idea of, like, an oversized flannel hooded situation. Uh, much more wearable nowadays than, like, a, you know, fussy, businessy button-up. There's a little tunic length. Oh, here's the line drawings. So, yeah, I think we got everything covered. The hooded one, <laughs> the hood is just cracking me up. Cracking me up. All right, that's Julianne. And then just a few more left. We've got the Nicolette tee, which is just this like color blocked tee. The stripe is in a really odd place. 
right through the high bust with the pocket sitting above that. Mm, I'm not sure about this one. Oh, look at all these options. Cute shape. Really cute shape. And then lots and lots of color block options. This one, though, is sitting a little bit up. It's like also in an odd place. It's not at the high bust. I mean, I'm sorry. It's not at the full bust, but it's not. I don't know. It's like in some weird Goldilocks place. Yeah, I can't with the color block pattern block thing where the stripe is hitting. That is so strange to me. Okay, so that's Nicolette. I mean, $12 for, I don't know about that. All right, Duchess High Low. Oh, and this is free. Like, I don't get it. I don't understand the pricing. <laughs> We've got a banded skirt. Is this for Wovens? Yeah, you'll think we're crazy for giving. I do think you're crazy. <laughs> um... Knit and wovens. Waist options. Knit, knit yoga, or woven zip up. Okay. So that makes a little bit more sense. Yeah, there they all are there. The thing I have, and I've talked about this before, the issue I have with um, high-low skirts is, or tops, is that um, you can always see the wrong side of the fabric, and not all fabrics look pretty on the wrong side. Like this, not super pretty, especially compared to what the front looks like. So I would struggle finding something that looked equally beautiful on the inside as it does on the outside. Like this, I'm sure, looks great both sides. So that's what I would try and find something like that. But then you're just got like a, you know, a plain skirt, which I guess... You know, it's nice to have those wardrobe basics, but, you know, you really want, like, the fluttery, pretty prints, too. So, in that case, I would want, I'd be tempted to just make it not high-low. So, that's my spiel on high-low. Um, now we've got a nursing hack pack. The Babe Hoodie. Pull over and zip up hoodie. Pull over and zip up hoodie. Okay, just want to take that in for a second. Make sure I understood what I was getting myself into. So it looks like we've got, whoa, whoa, look at all these options. Okay, a cropped hoodie, sleeveless. <laughs> I don't even know what to make of that. Okay, then you have like the hooded vest, which we've seen before. This one looks to be like a dress. And then we've got like the regular length with the little short sleeve. We've got long sleeves. Wow. You've got kangaroo pocket. You've got welt pockets. You've got patch pockets. And then all of them are banded hems. Okay. So there's your regular zip up hoodie. Please tell me someone made the cropped sleeveless one. This is the welt. Well, blah. This. Ah! I was trying to say this is the little welt pocket, which is hard to say after a long day. Cute. She did a good job on her welt pockets, too. Lined hood. Yes. But it's not cropped. But it is still a sleeveless hoodie. Very close fitting. I appreciate the armband. Like the bias binding there. It's a lot tighter than I thought it was going to be. A little short sleeve one. A little summertime hoodie. Yeah, that's a little bit more of what I was expecting from the vest version. Still pretty fitted, though. Oh, she made it out of like a little quilted fabric. That's cute. No one's made the crop top. Oh, what a bummer. Missed opportunity. Someone make the crop top and send them a photo so they can add it to the listing. <laughs> and then we've got a free universal teardrop dress pocket pattern, which none of you better download because we hate teardrop pockets, right? We only like the ones that are sewn into the waist seam. 
All right. Well, what did you guys think of DIY club patterns? A lot of great basics here. Um, some basics with a twist. A lot of really great knit patterns, especially sweater knits. If you guys are not making this this year, I'm I'm going to be so so disappointed. I, I'm going to be making one, so we should all make one together. Um, but I do feel like even though they're a little bit basic, they are still very, very, very much on trend. Um, there's still very much things that I see in the stores. Um, and you know, sometimes you need the basics to balance everything else out. Uh, silhouette wise, I feel like spot, she was spot on or they are spot on with, um, capturing, you know, when something's supposed to be oversized versus when something's supposed to be fitted, a lot of really great qualities here, but I'm interested to hear what you guys think. Let me know in the comment section below. I have gone ahead and linked last week's or last time's First Impression Friday video. I skipped last week. I've linked that here for you guys in the um, in slate. Uh, so check that out if you want even more pattern reviews. But that is going to do it for me today. I will see you all very soon. Bye.